<laughs> What's up pranksters? As you can see I got a bunch of books here because in this video I'm gonna show you how to do five book pranks just like you guys requested. Check it out. Alright pranksters, well let's begin with our first book prank. Now for this prank, you're gonna need a birthday gift card like this one. What I like about this one is that it's a musical one. So basically when you open, this happens. Not only does it make sound, but it also vibrates. And that is perfect for this prank because your victim won't expect it. So let's say your victim was reading his book but had to step out. Well go grab that book and let's say he left off on page 116. Well, you're gonna take the birthday gift card and stick it in there. You're gonna use tape to attach it to the book. So basically, all you need is one piece of tape, one for the bottom like this, and one for the top, which you will attach to the other half of the book. Now, pranksters, that's not all we're gonna do. Earlier, I printed out a spider like this, so I'm just gonna stick it on top of the card like that. You can clearly see the spider there and then just close the book. So this is what's gonna happen when your friend comes back to read his book. Let's say there is a bookmark over here so he'll know where to open it from. So this is what's gonna happen when he opens it. Did you see that? The spider actually moves. I like this prank because it actually appears like the spider's coming out of the book. <laughs> it will scare the crap out of them for sure. <laughs> and this next prank is very basic. It doesn't get much easier than this. So let's say your friend has a book report and he's reading up on a book, like this one right here. Yeah, he has to take his book every day to school. And this, this is just another book that you have lying around. And as you can see, they're both the same size. So what we're gonna do is just swap out the covers. For example, this one, we're just gonna take it off. And the book that he needs to read, we're gonna take off that cover as well. So put the cover of the book that he needs to read on any other book that you have laying around that's about the same size as the other book. Put the cover on it and there you go, you just switched them out. You do the same with the other one and this is what's gonna happen, pranksters. So your friends in class, the teacher tells him, take out your book and he'll be like, all right, I have the book in my backpack. He takes it out and he opens it and it's not the book that he needs to read so he'll have to ask to borrow a new one and the teacher might get mad at him. I mean, we don't wanna get him in trouble but it's just a fun prank that you can play on that friend. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to set up a prank that'll make your friend think that he ripped his book. All right, so you're gonna need one of these books right here. One of these, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a big one. What you will need is one of these blank pages. Usually when you open up a book, there's usually a blank page on the front, and then on the back, there's usually another one for like notes and stuff. Well, this, blank page nobody really needs and then sometimes some books have multiple blank pages at the beginning so this is the page we're gonna sacrifice unfortunately i don't mind it because you know these are books that i don't really care for but then again i kind of feel bad for uh for messing this uh, lord of the rings book but i won't feel bad messing up this twilight book and that's what i'm gonna use here well this twilight book doesn't have a blank page but i don't really care because again it's twilight all right let's pretend it's a hardcover book because these are better. Get the cover and the first page and then take a piece of tape. Take the cover to the first page like this. So you got a piece of tape attached to the cover and now this side of the blank page, you're gonna put another piece of tape but only this side you're gonna attach to the bottom of the book. So do that and attach it to a big chunk of that book And that's it pranksters, the prank is ready. And this is what's gonna happen when your friend opens up that book. So when your friend opens up his book, this is what's gonna happen. Oh no! <laughs> so the book ripped. Now of course, this is gonna be the blank page so nobody needs to cry about this. And if you do, then I feel bad for you. It'll freak out your victim thinking that they ripped their book. 
And if they're in class and this happens, obviously it makes that ripping sound and everybody's gonna turn and look at your friend. That is one funny prank. So you have a friend that's a bookworm and he or she reads books all the time. And there's a lot of books always laying around their place, their house. And if you look in their backpacks, they have so many books in there. So I'm gonna show you a really simple, fun prank you can do on them. Perhaps you have seen this trick before used on phone books where they interleave the books and then when they try to pull them out, it's impossible because of the friction. When I first saw that trick, I was like, I could use that in a prank. So this is what we're gonna do. Get two of your victim's books. You're gonna interleave the book pages like this. So one on top of the other, not necessarily page by page, but for the most part, try to get a, a few. So it doesn't take long to do this, but you gotta be patient to get the pages in between the other pages. So I'm gonna fast forward this. All right, so I just reached the end of the books. And this is what it should look like. So let's say you grab these from your friend's backpack and one of these books he has to take out for his reading class every day because they read out loud. So put the books back in his backpack and then when reading class comes along and, and teacher asks everybody to take out their books, he's gonna see that the books are attached together and he won't really think anything of it. So he'll try to pull them out and it will be impossible. Your friend could be the strongest guy in the world but he will not be able to pull the books apart. And uh, you guys might want to look into that trick because it's really fun and it's crazy that if you were to set up the books like this, you wouldn't be able to pull them apart. So your friend will pull and pull and he will not be able to get his books unattached. And then this is a funny prank, especially if done in class. To undo this, you have to go page by page and it could take a bit, but... But yeah, it'll frustrate your victim, especially if he's in a hurry to start reading his book. So yeah, pranksters, you pull on it, and like I said, your friend could be the strongest guy in the world, but he will not be able to pull him apart. Let me know what you guys think about this prank. Would you guys try it out? It's very simple. So if you're at home right now and you got two books laying around, try this trick right now. It's really fun. All right, on to the last prank. Here I got a book, Lord of the Rings. So let's say you're at home and one of your family members is reading their books, which happens to be the Lord of the Rings book. At some point, let's say they're halfway through the book. As you, as you can see, there's a space down here between the cover and the, and the book. So what you can do, let's say your friend goes to the restroom and then he has to come back to his book. Well, when they're away, grab some shaving cream and you're gonna fill the inside of the book with it. So this is what I'm gonna do. While your friend is in the restroom, fill it up. Fill up one side and then fill up the other side. Like that. And it helps if the book cover is white. Of course, the shaving cream that does stick out, try to wipe it off. Like this, you can't really tell that it's there no more. And then do the same to the other side. So when your friend returns to Keep reading his book, nothing will happen, right? He'll flip through the pages and obviously he's not gonna finish reading the whole book in the same day and he'll eventually have to close the book and this is what's gonna happen when your friend closes that book. Oh, they will not expect that. This, if wiped immediately, it will not harm the book. So hopefully your friend does that and look at that. A bunch of shaving cream. The book being closed squeezes out the shaving cream. It's very funny. Don't worry guys, I got this book for a dollar at Goodwill. But if your friend really values his book, then try not to damage it. There you have it, pranksters. Five book pranks you can do on friends and family. Now me, I don't necessarily love books. I mean, they're all right, but it's not something that I care for. But there are some people out there that value their books very much. So please don't go over the edge and ruin their books like like this one only do pranks on people who can take a joke because we don't want to damage their books obviously they cost money so do not damage their books if they can't take a joke or if you can't replace that book now these won't destroy the books but uh you know but some people don't want their books harmed all right that's cool 
Well, anyway, guys, since it's almost back to school, these pranks will come in handy. And if you enjoyed at least one of these, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see some back to school pranks, again, subscribe because I will have that video up soon. So hit that subscribe button ASAP. Until next time, pranksters. Thanks for watching. I got a whole bunch of candy here on the table because in this video, I'm going to do a bunch of pranks. Hit it till it breaks. So I have a bottle of hot sauce here and what I'm going to do is fill it up with it. So put the noodle inside the wrapper and then just you know pass it off as candy. Here's a roll of pennies, about 50 cents worth. So just put the roll inside the wrapper. Take a lighter and begin to burn the tip. I am just gonna push down on this and take out as much candy as I can. 